Hello everyone and welcome back to the next episode of the city of Puerto Corleone. In this episode I was trying to feature more about the build of the city and stuff like that, roads, but we ended up running into traffic issues in some parts of the city. We had to fix them and I ended up losing a lot of footage. So I decided to make a track fix for this episode. So we're gonna start by this area over here where we are in the starting tile. This is right now the only entrance of the city. And in here we have all the sources of water that the city has. So we right now don't have enough water for all the city and we're gonna aim for fixing all of that in the same area over here. In here what I want to do is a park law, exactly the B4 park law that if you want to know more about this type of urban interchange you can go to Yombo's channel. He has a few videos where he explains how they work and what are their main benefits. But right now this is the, the best option for us because this uh, gives priority to the traffic that is coming from the highway and that's what we want to do in here to give priority to the people that is coming in the highway we don't have any problem with the people that is inside the city we have problem for people that want to come from the highway to the city right now you saw me doing some guidelines the main thing that I want to have here is a very measured gap of four units in the exact middle of the area where we have the, the highways that's why you saw me doing all those guidelines and stuff so I can build these two highway roads two, two lane highway roads and I can build also a 1U highway ramp I'm using the the highway ramp that is included in the American pack and that's because the this one is a 1U highway if you use the normal vanilla it's going to be a 2U highway and we want it to be the, the one that is smaller so one the things that you need to use in here are the traffic manager the node controller as you are seeing here and the movement mode these are going to help us to to give the the signals and stuff uh, in the case of the traffic manager the the traffic lights because this urban interchange needs traffic lights the lane connectors and the other two the node controller and movement are going to be for decoration and, and appealing right here you see me building the the bridge the the way that i do it is that i make the the highway to go to elevation minus three and i make the bridge in plus six so i can have a nine meters high space in between the highway and the urban road that we're going to be using So now that we have the bridge already being built, the next step is to build the, the roads that are coming from the highway to the urban road. I'm using 1U roads because these are um, slim enough so we can go under the bridge without uh, occupying much space. The way that we are going to do this, this or the way that this um, interchange works is that you always turn right. If you're coming from the highway and you want to go right, you use the first ramp that you're going to be provided and you turn right. If you want to go left, 
you use the second ramp you're gonna do like a semi roundabout and you're gonna turn right again to go left that's gonna provide us with a continuous flow in the interchange we only need a a traffic light that is gonna affect only the traffic that is coming from the from the urban side of the city that's how this works and this is why it provides priority to the traffic that is coming from the highway because the ones that come from the highway never stop but the ones that come from the urban side had to stop in the in the traffic light this is as i said perfect for this type of situation because where we have the biggest amount of traffic is from the highway the final step always is going to be a little bit of move it a little bit of node controller and um, providing the the signs that the interchange need if you want so now i'm going to be repeating this in the other side and we're going to be back when it's done now the thing that we need to do when all is done is to give the the lane connectors this is somewhat confusing um, if you want a better explanation a better tutorial you can let me know in the comments and i can make a video of urban interchange and and how to set up the the time traffic light because the the key parts of this type of interchange are the lane connectors and the time traffic light and i wasn't able to to make the 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 video of the time traffic light because this was part of the footage that i ended up missing and i think that is something that by this point all of the people may now know but if you don't know you can let me know in the comments and i can teach you how to set up the time traffic lights and then for this build the final part is providing the people with the with the water that they need because remember that we were going to make the the fix that provide all the people with the water and that's what we are doing here the final part of this area that's it doesn't have anything to do with the interchange but i need to provide people with some water <laughs> of the traffic fix since I am very tight and I don't have a lot of space where I can work with something like a I don't know like an intersection and stuff I'm going to use a very useful pack of roads that we have in the steam workshop but first I'm going to put a more useful interchange because you, as you saw I was using a interchange a very basic interchange that I did myself and it was working but I need something that can handle a little bit better the traffic so I'm putting this interchange that I'm going to leave in the in the description the link where you can find it the other part of the fix is going to be about the 
Vanilla Overpass Project. This is a, a group of roads that you can find in the Steam Workshop with this name that they will provide you with the option to make small overpass without having to use a lot of space. They can be used in the same space that you can build a four units road. So that's why they are very, very useful, but they are a little bit hard to understand. I'm going to, I'm not going to, to, to do like a tutorial over here. I'm going to just to tell you how they work. This pack of road is con, con, contains like, like five or six type of intersections. Each, each one of it is composed with a A part, a B part, and a C part, and the overpass. What I'm doing here is that I'm placing, a, I placed first the four unit road because that's the, the base, the, the, the part of this pack that works with vanilla is that you can upgrade the vanilla road uh, in sections and that's why maybe they call it vanilla overpass they work very fine with vanilla roads that you can upgrade but this is nothing about vanilla and the thing is that you have a C part that is the one that is going to be next to the intersection as you can see you have a B part that is where everything is going to happen you can see the B part is the one that is like blank and you have the A part is like the the transition part from the vanilla to the overpass project is the one that, that has the weird markings over here and then you have the ramps the ramps are maybe looking like normal roads in this case I'm going to use a two two lane for uh, two units four lanes road but the the difference is that you have a a very different elevated road in the the elevated road you're gonna find it in the bridge in a moment you're gonna see me placing the the elevated road in order for you to use this pack you have to have anarchy because in here I'm using the elevated part of the road this is nothing like an elevated normal road because it gives you like these retaining walls that will cover the the blank part of the of the road and when you place the the part in, in anarchy when you place the bridge you're gonna have like a normal elevated road if you connect this to, to, to the other, this is gonna function like a normal overpass that you can find in real life. This is very useful because you don't have to use a lot of space and it's very easy to set up. The, 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 the hard part is to understand how you're going to be placing the, the, the bridge and the overpass. You have to do it exactly like I did or I saw a tutorial that Yombo made that he used a very particular way to, to place it and it also works. I stick to, to the way that you saw that I did it over here because that's the way that I have been using and, and always works but Yombo makes a, a different way to place it when you need to to place some lane connectors but when you get to this part this is the the hard part because you cannot use control s to place the the, the the normal lane connector because the game doesn't understand how to place it in this part over here so you can place the normally in the vanilla to the a part but when you're coming from the a part to the b part you have to place it manually and you have to place them always because if you don't use you you don't place it you're gonna see cars doing this thing 
this weird thing like they are doing over there when you finish placing all of the lane connector you're gonna end up building something very nice in here i made a little bit of cinematics about the real part that i wanted to feature in this episode this is like a leisure part of the city where you can find residential and leisure commercial this is going to be like a sin city or something like that where you can find casinos and a lot of crime and stuff i even managed to make like a crime going on like a robbery in the first skyline bank and that was a nice feature that i wanted to show you but i wasn't able because of the traffic issue and the footage that i lost and the other part was this separate entrance that i made right after i built the the, the park club this is going to get the citizens directly from the highway to the industrial part and i started a oil industry since i have natural resources over here for an oil industry i made it over here this is going to make help help me to get more money to the city and it really went very good as we finished the episode we managed to get it to level three so this is going to be it for this episode i hope that you enjoy i'm gonna link everything the that i found in the workshop in the description of the video and i hope that you were entertained by this episode for the next episode i'm gonna try to feature more of the build of the city so see you in the next one don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and see you later Thank you.